Hello, hello, and welcome. It's LaShonda Henry here, a.k.a. Sister Sense. And once again, we are officially back inside of the Fresh Start program, monthly minis conversation. My goal is to help you get clear about recurring revenue, how to create passive income products, working on your paid membership or simple subscription offers, and essentially creating what I like to call monthly minis, irresistible digital products that are quick for you to create and easy for your ideal customers and clients to consume. So as we continue our prep session, let's dig into the next focus for today. One last thing or one thing before I jump into today's conversation, make sure that if you haven't already done so, you create a brain dump doc so you can kind of go through all of the stuff that we talk about today as part of Fresh Start. If you are looking to get in the know about everything that I share with you here, always feel free to go over to sense.com forward slash IFS, which is going to take you inside the FS Fresh Start program. And of course, you can feel free to check in with me and the community over at firestarters.sensitive.com. That's our Facebook group. So between those two platforms, you'll be able to see updates, access to what's happening next, and any immediate downloads, resources that I want to share with you, including the seven-day Setup for Sales Challenge that we'll be kicking off within the next few days. So when we left off yesterday, there were two things that I focused on. Number one, I started off with the profit potential of you creating a subscription-based offer. So having something that is as little as $7 on a subscription plan, if you were to have 10 sales a month, that would be $70. If you had 100 sales a month, that would be an extra $700 into your business. And if you can see here on the table, going through these different levels, right, from $7 offers to even $497 offers, having anywhere between 10 to 100 sales, you can work on your four, five, or six-figure annual revenue goals. So definitely feel free to, number one, screenshot what you see here and go back to our session yesterday so you can get clear about this table and the profit potential of having a recurring subscription-based offer that you present to your audience. Just kind of wanted to give you a quick recap of where we left off yesterday, number one. And number two, I broke down three of the seven monthly minis to get you thinking about what could potentially work for you. Today, what I want to do is give you an overview of the seven that we're going to explore. If you haven't heard me say this before, I've actually come up with a list, and it has 17 of these monthly minis. I call these QCQC, quickly create quality content with yours truly, especially if you're going to commit yourself to offering something to your audience for profit every single month. You've got to know that you can commit yourself to something like that. So being able to create something valuable but not something that's going to burn you out on a month-by-month basis is what the monthly mini concept is really all about. So there are 17, but for the Fresh Start experience, what I'm going to do is take you through seven. The first one here is called Mini Messages. And I absolutely love to offer audio content to my audience. And so thinking about, for example, if you are somebody who is a spiritual entrepreneur and you offer devotionals, you offer prayers, you can offer that to your audience in the form of monthly mini messages. If you are someone who is health and wellness, you can offer people different morning routines or recipes, right? Detox, strategies, 
depending upon your area of expertise, there's always something that you can coach your clients through, right? So being able to take them through some sort of personal or professional development, motivation, inspiration, direction, that's what the audio monthly mini message offer is all about. Now, as I go through these, we're going to actually break these all the way down inside of the Set Up for Sales 7-Day Challenge, which I'm doing next week, right? The prep is just to kind of give you an idea of what these are so you can start thinking about which of these might be realistically the kind of digital offer that you would like to produce every single month and offer to your audience on subscription, okay? So monthly mini messages, number one, audio-based content that you share with your audience. Mini media, number two. So this is for those of you who have different types of digital products that you could deliver to your audience via email every single month. So I offer a lot of different stuff <laughs> online. And a lot of times what I'll create is called a power PDF. And I will put all the things I want you to be able to access inside of that PDF. I might have uh, printables. I might have a planner. I might have worksheets. I'll put that mixed media content into a PDF document and share it with my audience. So for example, my template club, I offer templates on a monthly basis, right? And so you'll get a template from me, you'll click and be able to download what's included in that offer. Monthly media is kind of a catch-all to me because it gives you the opportunity to identify is there a specific type of digital downloadable product that you offer to your audience? For example, I know that copywriters offer scripts. Lawyers can offer contract templates. I myself, I'm a graphic designer. I offer Canva templates, right? Photographers, um, there are several uh, entrepreneurs that I follow. They, um, one of them in particular, LaShonda Brown, um, she had this amazing um, photography company because she's a photographer where for several years she offered her stock photos, right? What kind of content could you deliver and charge for on a monthly basis in the form of presenting your audience with monthly media, Okay. Hey, Afi. I see my girl Afi is in the building. Hi, Delmar. Hi, Antoinette. I'm just looking down. I didn't see you guys coming on in. Um, if I think about Afi, so great that she's here, right? Afi is an amazing creative. She is an artist. And so, number one, you have art. She creates stickers. She creates artwork. She creates patterns, sewing patterns. These are all media-specific things, right, that you can offer to your audience on a month-by-month -month basis. I invest in platforms. Now that Canva does, like, everything and I can kind of get <laughs> some of my digital creatives on Canva done, it's kind of been my wheelhouse. But for many years, I've subscribed to, um, uh, I, call it, I think it was called Dollar Stock Photos and Adobe Stock and all of these platforms because I was invested in purchasing sets of stock photos from these companies for several years. So number one, if you find that maybe one of these isn't necessarily your thing, it's okay because there are 17 of them. It's just that as part of Fresh Start, we're going to focus on working on these seven, okay? Uh, so the goal is for you to, even before we get into the actual Fresh Start Setup for Sales Challenge next week, you have the opportunity this week to think about what kind of things again, you would like to offer to your audience on a monthly basis via some kind of a subscription, okay? So many messages, number one, many media, number two. And like I said, many media is a catch-all of basically you offering things that people can download through you, different types of digital media, okay? So 
The next one is mini magazines, my absolute favorite, my heart. <laughs> I have been in the world of digital self-publishing since I decided in my 20s that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I was sitting on the floor of Barnes & Nobles looking at all of these business entrepreneurial books and tapping into self-publishing, print-on-demand, was the beginning of my journey. So creating a magazine is definitely something that I've done and I help clients do as part of my Print Your Profits series. Would you like to create one? Now, that's question number one. Some of you already have, right, like my girl Afi in the building, the Wear What You Make magazine, yay. Um, but outside of creating a full-blown magazine, you could create what I call a mini-mag, uh, where it is on the small end, anywhere between 8 to 20 pages, so that you can realistically have that for your audience on a month-by-month -month basis. For this particular program, I've created a new template. I've got several magazine templates. I've created a new one. It's called the 90-Minute Mag because it's formulated so that if you follow the formula, you can plug and publish specific pieces of content in there within a couple of hours, right? But is that something you want to do, right? It could be, and I mentioned this yesterday when we had our prep session yesterday, it could be that you want to create a mini magazine to complement the current things that you're doing as part of your business, or you want to create a mini mag that helps you tap into your multi-passionate self. So one of my passions is creating positive content for children of color, and so I do have the Bright Colors magazine for kids. That is completely different from all the things I do with you guys as part of this events, right? So creating a recurring subscription offer doesn't mean it has to be within the umbrella that is your existing business. It could be something completely different that allows you to tap into not just profit but other passions that are of interest to you, okay? So Messages Media Magazines, Mini Mentorship. I love this one. When I started to offer my services as a business mentor to other entrepreneurs, I started off with my calls being 60 minutes. I was like, okay, well, what do other people do? Well, they do calls and they're 60 minutes. Okay, well, I'll do 60-minute calls, right? Um, that's where my story began. And then after several years of working with clients, I realized I don't necessarily just have to do 60-minute calls. First of all, I can do shorter sessions. I'm surprised to tell you how much I can get done with a client within 30 minutes, <laughs> number one, right? So when I talk about, and again, all of these we're going to go through each day of the Setup for Sales Challenge next week, but again, this is an overview for you, right? When I talk about mini mentorship, number one, it's a combination of several things. One thing is time. So whereas I can do one-on-one -on -one sessions with clients that are 60 minutes, 90 minutes, in some cases three hours, right? Mini mentorship is on the smaller side where you're doing sessions that are under 30 minutes or less, number one. But it's not just about direct sessions where they're on the phone and you're on the phone or they're on Zoom and you're on Zoom. There are other ways in which you can offer mentorship private direct mentorship without having to be on a conference session, virtual session with a client. Number one, you can offer audit. And number two, you can offer voice message coaching, which both are very popular. So let me explain. Um, on my website, I oftentimes will tell people, hey, you can send me an email or send me a voice message, right? When you're on this thisisense.com website, Click the gray tab on the right, send me a voice message. Not only do people use that to just kind of one-off ask me questions, using SpeakPipe and other platforms, which I'll talk about in next, week tra next week's training, I'll go through, like there are a ton of platforms you can do this on, right? I will have sessions where clients will, they'll send me a voice message and I'll send them back one and they'll send me one back. And we are not necessarily thinking about it. You do this all the time, right? You text people. We're back and forth having a conversation. We're just not directly on the phone at the same time. It works for some of my clients who are international. 
It also works when there are different time zones or they're just kind of busy and they can't get onto the phone with me at that time. In the interim of when we are directly together, they'll do those kind of virtual sessions, right? Maybe that's something that you want to do. Mini mentorship is valuable, and we're going to break down the benefits too, but a few benefits to keep in mind. If you find you don't have the time to commit yourself to longer coaching and training for many people, then you could do shorter form. If you find that you got to pick up the kids, you got two jobs, you got to take care of your parents, and there are so many things going on that sometimes finding a quiet place and time to do this stuff just doesn't work. It's more comfortable for you for people to give you what they want, and then you can send them back an audio audit or a voice message. Again, not having to – I've been on customer service calls where, um, you know, I'm getting customer service, and I can hear babies in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you find that your life is just not conducive to mentorship, even though you could mentor there are other ways to do it and then offer that to your audience on subscription. If I go back real quick, yesterday when I talked about the offer price points and I talked about you doing subscriptions anywhere between 7 to 497. Monthly mentorship to me gives you the opportunity to make more doing less. Just being honest. I offer sessions that are Again, 30 minutes, and in between those, I'm doing audits and I'm doing voice messages. And for those plans, I'm normally getting anywhere between 297 to 497 a month for my clients who are inside of my monthly, or not monthly, but my annual program, the Inside a Circle, it's 12 months, and then it's broken down into monthly payments and or the 90 minute the 90 day version of that so there's the 90 day inside a circle and then there's the 12 month so having subscriptions by the way you can do long term where they're paying you indefinitely or you can do short term so for me short term subscriptions are like a 3 a 6 or a 12 month versus a long term which is where they sign up and it's indefinite for clients who sign up indefinitely they speak to me usually at least twice a month, at the very least once a month. Some clients, they need to talk to me like several times a week. <laughs> and again, depending upon who those clients are, on average, they're paying anywhere between 297 or 497 for that mentorship experience, right? Um, and I do different things for my clients when I mentor. There are times when we'll need to do deep dive, 60 minutes, 90 minutes. But a lot of times on 30-minute sessions, I am checking in with them, making sure that we both are doing what we need to do to stay on task with respect to their projects. They may say, hey, LaShonda, this is tricky. Can you help me set this thing up in ConvertKit? Or I was trying to do this thing in Canva. I can't quite get it. Can you show me how it works? And we're doing like on-screen share type of sessions. Those are the kind of things that I do when it comes to mentoring, coaching, assisting my client base. And you don't necessarily have to do a lot of those to generate your ideal income, right? So, for example, when I talk about mini mentorship and those prices being much higher than a 7 or a 27, if you have 10 people at 97, that's $970, right? You're working with 10 people. If you're working with, let's say, 10 people at 297, that's 2970. And when I talk about you being able to create a sustainable income for some of my entrepreneurial besties, getting to the point where they're bringing in at least three to five thousand dollars a month is ideal, right? So, not just one way to skin a cat, as they like to say. Yes, you can think about creating subscription-based offers where the goal is to charge low and to bring in more people, more sales on a month-by-month -month basis. But hopefully as we talk about subscriptions in the next couple of weeks, you get to understand that you can also diversify your offers and charge more, right? Mentorship, one example, but not the only example of charging more adding value in a slightly different way through 
digital subscription-based offer. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. As we go through today's overview, definitely let me know if you have any questions. The goal is as follows. For those of you listening, if you're not quite clear about what we're doing as far as Fresh Start is concerned, the Fresh Start program is something that I created to help clients get back on track. There are several things we do inside of Fresh Start. One thing is the Set Up for Sales Challenge. And the challenge is, over the course of seven days, I share seven types of offers, and you work on creating one of those seven types. We're going to do the Fresh Start Challenge next week. Right now, it's just prep. It's just me being able to talk to you about the main concept, which is creating recurring revenue subscription offers and to break down some of these things enough to get you into a space where you're thinking about what you can do, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you, but like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. So far, we've talked about as far as monthly minis, messages, media, magazines, and mentorship. One of the things that I did when I created this list, and there are 17 monthly minis, is that I wanted to make sure that these are things that you could quickly create. I can sit down and knock out a ton of audios within an hour or two, which is why monthly messages is, for me, one of my favorites, okay? Um, or I can schedule a real-time event, a group training, or a one-on-one, -on -one and then deliver that later. I call those RTE, real-time experiences, right? There are different types of offers that you can produce. How you do them quickly that's what we'll talk about when we deep dive into these next week. And to be honest with you, for those of you who decide to do the Fresh Start program as a 90-day experience, that's the support that I offer over 90 days. Either you getting better at that one offer or you building it out into a bundle. So just to kind of pause for a second so you're clear about where we're we going with this, right? The overview is now. The deep dive comes next. Master classes. Right now, I'm doing a live session with you guys who are hanging out with me live, and then there are people who can catch it on the replay side. Given my situation where I am a full-time work-at-home person, right, with, with no longer with a toddler, right, he's a grown teenager now, I have the ability to go live, number one. I have a community to go live to, number two. If you find that your time is challenging or you can't really create a set schedule to create content at a, the same time every day or every week, pre-record content. Do a short 20, 30-minute training video and then offer that to your audience. You don't. Some of my clients are like, man, Lashonda, I want to go live like once a week or at least twice a month, but it's so hard for me to set certain days because my life is crazy then don't do that. Don't do the live thing. Do pre-recorded master classes that you deliver to your audience, and they can listen to, they can watch, they can consume at their time. You can create it on your time. They can consume it on their time. And for a lot of people, that's the, that is the thing that they need. So many are programmed to watch live streams and see people registering for live webinars that they think if they don't do that, they're not doing the thing they're supposed to do, right? You can generate revenue. You can create content that can be consumed without you having to be live to create it, right? So many master classes. And then keeping in mind with respect to the M-I-N-I -I of it all, they don't have to be 60, 90-minute plus webinar trainings. These can be 15 to 20-minute value packs sessions. To be quite honest with you, one of the big selling points of minis for me, as I've defined it, is that you want to create content that is easy for you to create and easy for your audience to consume. Because to be quite honest with you, folks have made it very clear to me, Shonda, I got the kids, I got the house, I got the bills, I got the job. As much as I love you, baby, it's the 15, 20 minutes for me. I don't know if I can sit down and watch this for two hours. I, you know, three hours. I, you know, I'm amazed when clients hang out with me for like two days, three days straight, right? But for the vast majority of people, 
getting bite-sized content that they consume in between all the other stuff that's going on with them is ideal, right? Give more and say less. <laughs> that is the art that if we all master, we would make all of our clients happy because for so many people, there's just so much going on that you giving them more isn't necessarily the selling point that they're looking for, right? And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second, but food for thought. Many challenges. So I'm challenging you all to create a recurring subscription offer with me as part of Fresh Start, right? Think about it. If you, for example, are in health and fitness, you can give people um, many um, fitness challenges that they do on a month-by-month -month basis with you, helping them stay motivated and accountable, right? Um, I follow breast cancer awareness, and they do different challenges um, on a month-by-month -month basis, right? Um, I remember when I was a kid, I used to do March of Dimes with my mom. Um, I would do it as part of, you know, volunteering at high school or you got to volunteer, right? Um, she would do it as a part of her job. She worked at Chase as a banker, and they always did all of these different, um, you know, community activities, right? Um, and so these many challenges of walking or running, whatever, you know, they're very popular. And, and those are just kind of like community-based, nonprofit examples. But whatever your target audience is, I'm sure you can offer them mic very specific micro-challenges that they would actually want to do with the support of you, right? Um, and that's one of the things I do pretty much every month as part of my Susan Circle. I offer many challenges that, and I wouldn't say that it's a situation where every month everybody's like, oh, my God, that's the perfect challenge. You'll find that every month, though, there are people that say that, right? So that you're creating something that you're adding value and they're going to be people who every month find something that really is the thing they're focused on right now. It's in alignment with their assignment, as we like to say, okay? And then series. Um, I've been talking about the fact that I've spent the last couple of weeks kind of binging Harry Potter, not all at once, but <laughs> I've never really watched it, at, just other than clips, right? Think about for yourself, if you are an author, you could publish some kind of series. Or if you're just an information person. So, for example, one of my clients loves to cook, so we're working on her cookbook. And I said to her, one of my projects for you is to create a subscription-based offer. There are many chefs that offer anywhere between three to five recipes a month on subscription. Why can't that be you? Outside of putting together a cookbook, you can take people through the recipes in the cookbook on a month-by-month -month basis. And then that would be a series, right? So this week, or rather this month, we're going to do, um, you know, brunch. Uh, next month, we're going to do um, recipes for your kids' lunches. Next month, we're going to do 20-minute dinners. And then build it out into a series, right? Either pulling it from larger content you have and giving them pieces on a month-by-month -month basis or turning small pieces into larger content over time as you create month-by-month. -month. Because eventually, even if you don't have like a big book on something, eventually you'll get there if you publish little pieces over time. Now, I'm talking about specifically publishing and then books, many or big, but that's one type of mini series. There are actually three, okay? Uh, but we're just going to talk about publishing for today. So let me pause because as you can tell, just sharing this overview with you of seven of the 17, there's so much things you can do. So I wanted to give you the overview before we break these down each inside of the challenge next week, okay? Now, as part of Fresh Start, there's also an audio for each of these, and there are templates for each of these. If you are in the official Fresh Start program, um, there is, in the light version of Fresh Start, we focus on messages, magazines, and media. 
and you get one template for each. In the full version of Fresh Start, we're going to do all seven of these, and you get three templates each, so you have 21 options to choose from. The templates are a part of my FAST method, which is F-A-S-T, Formulas, Automation, Systems, Templates. Using the templates and the formulas that I give you, you'll be able to quickly create quality content without feeling like you have to build from scratch. But that's another conversation for another day. It's the overviews for today. So those of you who are live or on the replay side, let me know which monthly mini feels like a good fit for you, which brings me to this section here. Check it in the chat, definitely. Questions, feedback. As part of the prep, your ultimate activity is to identify your top three, which of these are really wow for you. Like they're singing to you on some level, number one. Number two, pick your priority. Because really and truly, I really want you to focus on one for now. But if you have a few that you like, you can build a bundled offer later, right? Start from start to finish, focus on one now, and then if you want to go back and work on a few more of these and build out a bundle, do that later. The goal is to identify your priority projects so you can start brain dumping your ideas and outlining your offer. Make note of your questions because even if you're not live, I can answer your questions when we are live and or check in with you individually inside the community, right? or via email. If you want to jump into all the trainings, again, they're all inside of Fresh Start, literally. You can listen to them as you need outside of what we're going to do real time live going through the Setup for Sales Challenge. And the challenge, honestly, is just scratching the surface because it is 90 days. The seven-day challenge is just the first part of the 90-day experience, okay? So get ready for the challenge. Take this prep session time as your opportunity to think about what exactly you would like to do and think about the kind of questions that you want answers to, okay? That's how I can best support you. So I do see you're in the chat, which is awesome. I'm going to check the chat. Then I'm going to answer one of the latest questions I've received. We just started prep sessions yesterday, and I'm already starting to get questions. So I wanted to start off with this first one invite you guys to send me additional questions, and then, of course, make sure you download the calendar so that you can stay up to date as far as what we're doing in the program. All right, so let's see here. As an HR consultant to entrepreneurs, I think doing an audio support of a subscription via Voxer would be cool. I get DM questions still, and I've even been part of a Voxer-style coaching myself, and I definitely like mini master classes. Good. So you've experienced some of this on the tail end of it, right? So being somebody who was coached via voice messaging sessions, you've experienced it, perhaps not thought about how you could do that yourself, right, as a coach or a mentor. So this is good. Right now, for me, it's about the possibilities, right? And there are some things that we consume all the time, and then we go, man, what can I create, right? And, and, and not kind of thinking about how can I take this thing and flip it and make it my own. And, yes, mini masterclasses for me are definitely a great way to build your digital footprint because you can have a library that you offer to your audience. And let me say this, we will go through all the benefits at some point, but consider this. Even if you did mini master classes and offered them on the low end, anywhere between seven to forty seven dollars a month, low end, right? Eventually, over time, baby, you're gonna have your own library. And it's these libraries that I've built over time with tons of trainings, videos, templates, tools that become my $500 offer, my, let, get this, so my latest offer, right, um, and let me see if I can pop it on the screen as I share this with you in a quick comment, one second. Okay, so on the topic of masterclasses, right, 
even if it's on the lower end on a subscription month by month basis, eventually you're going to have a lot of stuff. Like you're going to have your own Netflix, your own Amazon, right? Think when these programs, Hulu originally came out, at first they were having to buy the rights to show other people's stuff. Now keep in mind, now you got um, Amazon Prime movies, you got um, Hulu Originals, right? You've got Netflix with the chokehold on us because they got certain shows that we can't watch anywhere else. Why? Because they made them, right? That's the thing when you have your own digital library. So what you're looking at right here is over at com forward slash program. I'm currently doing what I call a build with me experience where I am releasing next year my Monetize Now program for $2,500. It's going to have access to the best I've created plus the newest stuff that I have not released yet, right? This is going to be my highest on-demand digital offer, right? My highest offer is $10,000, but that's me, all parts of me. <laughs> that's like coaching, that's me setting up stuff, web design, in-person events, off offline events, all the stuff. This is just a digital experience at 2500 but in order to produce it, I personally and feel confident about how amazing it is. It's a combination of the things that, again, I've created over time as well as me building out some new things that no one has seen yet, like my PLR profits and Physician to Profit, the newest print your profits, all the things, right? Right now, I'm offering it at a reduced rate because I'm building it out, and I want people to be able to get access in at the founding member level, right? You may hear sometimes people talk about become a founding member so you can have access to what's there now and then what's coming up next. This is a founding member experience, right? But it comes from the, con the, the idea that all of these years, I'm sharing live trainings or pre-recorded master classes and building them that out into something bigger for the future. So there's a lot that you can do when you create a subscription-based offer for your immediate audience, but it's going to serve you as far as building your personal digital library that you can monetize in a myriad of ways over time. So whether it be creating bundles or creating virtual libraries. I've been able to turn some low price point subscription offers into high ticket offers once those, they've kind of grown into bigger and better. So, food for thought. <laughs> yes, that's one of my goals, building a digital library of many classes on various topics and questions I've created over the years. Definitely a, a solid way to go. Definitely a solid. It has been for me as far as working on creating high ticket offers because that in and of itself is a skill. Um, but being able to do that and have that, um, that library is helpful. So feel free to ask any other questions or comments. That was a great one. Um, this one I received yesterday, and I wanted to be able to integrate it into our conversation today. How to overcome overwhelm. So one of the great questions I got from Mommy Slays was, number one, she's interested in monthly messages. And again, that's one of my favorites. But how do you avoid the overwhelm of creating content every month on subscription? That's a huge question. But here are some practical recommendations. If you have any questions, again, now's a good time to ask, but you can also leave comments and send emails, and I'll integrate them into our sessions moving forward. Number one is avoid over-delivering slash extending, right? Try to avoid over-delivering or over-extending yourself. If you can't, don't. Sometimes we find ourselves in a place where we feel like we have to put in everything but the kitchen sink, but then even sometimes we throw in the kitchen sink too. <laughs> we know we shouldn't, but we do it because we feel like adding everything is going to be our best way of converting. But friendly reminder, you don't have to add on all the things to add on value. 
Sometimes it is the smallest offer that makes the biggest impact because it really laser focuses on something that people realistically want without overwhelming them with all the things they realistically can't consume. It's like giving somebody like a three-table buffet of food when they really can only eat one plate and barely that much. (laughs) You know what I mean? Sometimes it really doesn't help. So one way to avoid overwhelm is to not start off on the wrong foot of, okay, in order for people to invest into my subscription offer every month, I got to give them this, 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 this. And if I don't give them all 15 of these things, they're not going to want it. They're not going to see the value because how can I give them one file to download every month? What is, you know, how is that value? You literally talk yourself out of the things that you were talking yourself into, devaluing it because you don't feel like it has enough in it. When if it's got too much in it, they're going to be overwhelmed, right? Find your EIO. EIOs, I called my old McDonald, right? But, you know, y'all know old McDonald. (laughs) I call them my easy, irresistible offers, right? You want to find your easiest EIOs. So if I say, okay, Yandel, that's mommy slaves, right? If I go, Yandel. Look, you could do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You have to start eliminating the ones that just don't make sense for you. So, for example, I said, I am full-time working home. I don't have toddlers. If I want to do a pop-up live with y'all, right now I can. There are clients that they go, LaShonda, I'm taking care of my parents. Um, You know, I've got to pick my kid up. I remember having to pick my kid up at daycare in the middle of the day. Okay, that's not easy. You have to be able to eliminate those things that just realistically are not going to work for you having to create that kind of content every month, especially if you don't have the support and or team that you would like to be able to help you do that the way you would like, right? Being able to find your EIOs means you have to be honest with yourself. Sometimes we overrun ourselves because we put a lot on our plate that we realistically can't handle, but we, yeah, I could do it. Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, I could. No, you can't. Right? Bigger isn't always better. You want to focus on those things that are easy for you to create and for your people to realistically be able to consume. If they can't consume it, they're not going to want to try it, and they're definitely not going to want to buy it. Oh, this is too much. Too much. I like to, as I mentioned before, focus on the fast method. I give you formulas because formulas keep me sane. If I tell you put this on this page and this on this page for the 90-minute mag, do that. Because if you do that every single time, all you got to do is rinse and repeat. Let me explain. Do you see this? This template that you see here? This is a template. These slides that you see here, me popping through. This template I designed maybe 10 years ago, number one. Okay? Most of my slides that I do with y'all look just like this. And yes, I do have the template in my template hub directory. You could use it. Go go with God. Okay? Um, Number one. Number two, last year, I took this template and I designed this cover because I went to Jamaica, had a photo shoot, all the things, designed this cover. Then I changed the colors, bam, bam, boom. Formulas, automation system template. I have a structure, I have a formula that I follow when I create my slides. I literally can set this thing up in about five to ten minutes without skipping a beat. Avoiding the overwhelm, I, when I said this year, Here's what we're doing for Fresh Start. All I had to do was go back and ma- literally make a copy of the slides from last year and then change out the content to apply it to this year. Because we did seven digital products last year, but they are not this seven. Last year, we talked about $7 solutions. This year, we're talking about reoccurring subscriptions. So it's a different set of templates and it's a different set of offers. However, I avoid overwhelm and 
I create a space where I can quickly create content by being able to duplicate what I have and build on my foundation, right? Using the template, which is why I give y'all templates because I'm like, why start from scratch? Now, once you take the template I give you, or templates rather, and then you customize them to fit your needs, you're even faster into it, right? Because then you don't have to duplicate my templates. You just duplicate the one that you customize to fit your brand, your colors, your logo, your content, et cetera, right? Also, for me, one way to avoid over-delivering is by offering people easy access value. So, for example, I said to you guys, even though we haven't started Fresh Start yet, go here. You could listen to preliminary audios. You could download things. You could actually do things. That's the while you wait experience over at susansense.com forward slash IFS. So if you only give people one thing that's new every month or two things that's new every month, you know you could give them maybe an archive of some other things that they could also dig into. Maybe it's not new, but it's value. And it's not – It's I always used to say uh, one of my old besties in college, uh, he was from Detroit, and I would be like, oh, that's cute. Where you get that? Is it new? And he'd say to me, new to you. <laughs> I always love where he was like, new to you. Like, you shit, I don't have this thing since I don't even know. Right? Just because you feel like your stuff is old, if, if they've never seen it, consumed it, or don't remember what they saw when they saw it, it's new to them. That portal is value. Think about it. I don't watch everything. I'm sure you don't watch everything that's on Hulu, Netflix, and Prime, but we have access to it, and we pay for it. <laughs> right? So there are ways for you to add value to what you're offering on a monthly basis without feeling like you have to overextend and give people a ton of different things every single month. Because some people can't even take that, and some people won't even get to everything that you've given them. They just want to know they have access to it when they need it. Even if they don't go through all of it at that moment, they want to know when they're ready, they paid for it, they can go and access what they need. Another story for another day. Last thing that I'm going to say when it comes to overcoming overwhelm is to create calendars. So, for example, when I know, for example, I do my monthly Sisters and Circle, right? Most, monthly masterminds, another concept for another day, right? Because a mastermind is different from, like, doing live mastermind sessions, different from doing pre recorded master classes, right? But, point being, I say, okay, Lashonda, what's going to happen? February, January, March, or, okay, Lashonda, what's your theme, right? Um, I have different themes, and I have different topics that I go through. Just maybe creating a three-month calendar or thinking about the things you want to explore because they're seasonal. You do them quarterly. You do them monthly. You do them annually. That helps with the fatigue of overwhelm. Now, one thing that's not here, but I will definitely share, when we did the paid newsletter project a couple of weeks ago, it was 12 weeks we did paid newsletters, I said you could do short-term and long-term, and the same thing applies here. When you create a subscription offer, it can be short-term, 3, 6, 12 months, or it can be indefinite long-term. If you don't think you have the bandwidth or the content to commit to doing a subscription offer that never ends, then give yourself a couple of months to create something that from start to finish is three, six, or 12 months. Then put it on autopilot and sell it to people who go through the three, six, or 12 months. You don't have to worry about what do I need to come up with today? Because once you set it for that three, six, 12-month experience, baby, forget it. <laughs> Let it do what it needs to do. You focus on driving traffic to it, getting people who want to go through it, whether they want to go through it for the first time or some folks want to go through it again. I've done that, signed up to something once, and then went back and signed up to it. Why? Because I want to go through it again. Don't ask me why. <laughs> right? My money is my prerogative. I can do what I want to do. Right? So those are just a few 
things to consider when it comes to overwhelm. A lot of it is in our mind, us thinking about what we need to put forth in order to make the best outward presentation of what is available. Um, some of it is just not being able to pivot and see that we could do things easier for ourselves if we take the path of least resistance. If you know you don't have time to be working with individuals, don't work with individuals, right? If you know that your schedule is crazy and you, if 90% of the time, if you say you're going to do a live on XYZ time or date, you're going to have to cancel it because you can't commit to it. Then don't commit to doing lives. Do pre-record. Like, find the easiest easy offer for you. Be honest with you. And if you cannot commit to a long-term subscription-based offer, make a short-term offer so that you can commit to at the very least setting it up. So once it's set up, it's done. On to the next one, right? Now, a lot more I could say, a lot more we could do, but obviously this is a prep session, so that's all I'm going to say for today. <laughs> Hopefully that was helpful to, to um, Mommy Slaves. Thank you so much for the question, number one. I will continue to take a look at your questions live and or on the replays side, okay? So we have a lot to do. We're going to kick things off with the Setup for Sales 7-Day Challenge. It officially starts next week. Yay, 7 days. The 7-Day Challenge is actually free. The thing, though, is that what I want to do is not just break these solutions down for you, but I want to offer you more in-depth training. I want to offer you 90 days of support to work on one, if not multiple, offers for your subscription-based project. And I want to give you the templates that I've created to help you move forward. So if you want to just do the seven-day challenge for free, baby, I got you. If you want the templates, the support, the 90-day experience, then you can invest into Fresh Start either at the light level or the full level, right? Light is going to give you the opportunity to get three projects plus three templates. Level up, full level, you're going to get all seven projects and 21 templates because each of the seven has three templates to go with it, okay? Those of you who are actively inside of my Sister Send Circle program, you get Light as part of the program. And if you want to upgrade to other level up levels, you can and get a reduced rate for the upgrade because, again, you're actively Sister Send Circle members. So what that means is if you wanted to add on calls, those levels include one-on-one -on -one calls with me, include additional resources like getting access to the Position to Profit program inside of Not Monetize Now, being able to I literally have me build websites for you. So if you wanted done with you, support one-on-one -on -one calls, done for you services, having me help you set up web pages and or some of these products inside of Canva, those additional support for services you can invest in if you need to, okay? But there's an FAQ and there's other breakdowns inside of the IFS page over at sizzlets.com forward slash IFS for inside Fresh Start, okay? So y'all are on my list. I'll definitely keep you posted so you can rock out with me seven days absolutely free inside the program. But if you want to start listening to all the trainings, deep dive into the products, and get immediate access to the templates once they are released, once we begin the official challenge next week, then you can upgrade to one of the several levels inside of the Fresh Start experience. Now, when you get there, by the way, let me say this. I don't have all the sneak peeks available, but sistersense.com forward slash I F. S. But you can actually see some of the previews of the templates that I've put together, like the mini magazine template number one. I, I love this thing. Like, I have been building magazine templates for years. And baby, this is the prettiest magazine, the 90-minute mag template. This is the prettiest mag template I've ever produced, I think. I love them all. But this baby is a win for me. So I'm excited for you guys to get in these templates and use them. Those of you who are interested in master classes, right, you'll see this example. Where's that one here? This one. And this is a new 
web page template I've put together. There are three versions of this template. This is the mini version. There's a bigger one to this, right? Um, and you get all versions in the full program. This allows you to build a page in Canva where you could plug in your video and quickly, right? Because once you've customized it with your, your brand, your colors, your links here at the top, quickly pop in your video, your button links, whichever one of these links you want to keep or if you want to delete something, you can. Once you put your photo, your bio, your social media links, bam, bam, boom, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Record your training, knock it out, and publish these pages literally inside of Canva. Awesome sauce, right? So I will be showing you visuals of all of the templates and the projects as we go through the challenge and you do get access to the templates inside of the full Fresh Start program if you need it, okay? Plus, you get an opportunity to get, to get showcased inside the circle because I want to see what you produce, and I want to share what you produce with others inside of our Superfence Circle community. Um, I did share yesterday that there is the five-page website template, and those who sign up for the Fresh Start Plus program You'll get this template. I will actually customize it for you. It's five. You get the three pager or the five pager, and I will literally inside of your Canva account customize a three or five page website to showcase your best products, services, information. So there's a lot of levels to press start. Uh, a lot that you can do. A lot that I want to share with you. Any questions? As always, feel free to check in with me, and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction. So now that you know what we're going to do, think about what you're going to do, and check in with me. I'm going to keep you posted. Download the calendar so you know what's happening when. Email me, voice message, if you need additional clarity. Thank you so much, guys, for joining today's prep session. We've got one more prep session coming up this week, and then we kick off the seven day setup for sales challenge next. Till then, go forth and create your amazing. Take care. Bye. Mwah.